That was actually perfect. What, Stoveroni time? No, you, you can't lead off with Stoveroni. Oh. Yeah, actually you can. So lead <laughs> off with whatever. All right, it is Stoveroni time. Oh, I like it. So, welcome again to Unofficial Use Only. We're gonna have a little fun. Uh, today, we've been working on the Dan Mick rig, working on the stretch, smoothing the frame out. We'll show you a bit of that. Uh, we're trying to get the Frankenbrut up and running because uh, there's an event tomorrow that I learned about yesterday uh, and we want to go show our support so doing a little interior stuff fitting parts making the trans work made it run for the first time today in months um, so we're doing that we're hanging out in the shop it is currently 11 o'clock at night so it's Stoveroni time as uh, Captain Redbeard told us so let's show you, we're working on the Franken route, doing a little fun. Um, today we kind of finished the stretch portion here. So we smoothed it all out so you can't even see where it happened. Um, all in this section, 22 inches. And we're gonna walk over here to get the Stoveroni stuff ready. Our fridge is a little buried. So this is the fridge that goes in the bed of the Franken brute. However, we also use it as the shop fridge. Um, because it's a 95 quart, it holds an immense amount of stuff and it's great. It's got two different compartments so you can use a freezer side and a fridge side. It's really cool. So we'll unbury it just a little bit. We'll open it up. So here's our Dometic fridge loaded with goodies. We've got some root beer, we've got some snacks, but for Stoveronis, Stoveronis start with pepperoni. And you want to go to the deli counter and actually have them slice it so it's nice and thick. How thick is that? Um, I said a quarter of an inch. <laughs> it's uh, almost three-eighths of an inch thick. So they didn't understand quarter inch. But that's okay. Neither do I. It'll be good. So we get our, we get our pepperonis, some cheese. We like a nice Colby Jack with our stoveronis. And then get that prep. Captain Redbeard's gonna start prepping the stove. So the stove, one trick, you wanna make sure you got a nice hot raging fire so that it's really warm in there. Like hulk fire, Thor, smoldering fire. The next, you take your ronies. Remember, take them out of the bag. Yeah, out of the bag, you don't want to eat the bag. So you take your ronies, you place them right on the stove. So, this is really good because way back when, even when I was a little kid in the uh, 80s, we would heat our house with the stove, just like we heat our shop with the stove. And uh, you can put water on it, and it acts as a humidifier, and do all kinds of other stuff. But the plate, it's a quarter inch plate on the top. You can see there's a little oil grease on this one, but it's, and it, the oil grease is from the Stoveronis. But it's a cooking surface. So we get our Roni set out. Looks like hamburger patties. And this will take, <laughs> th this takes a while, especially with the really thick ones. So you wanna get it really hot and we'll check them, we'll flip them, we'll show you the tools that we use in the shop here. Um, you want to get a nice caramelization crust on it, almost like uh, searing a burger or searing a steak. You want to make sure that you get that nice little crust. And because there's enough fat content in these, it really helps build up a good crust. And they'll be really good in a little bit. Are you done with the video? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> You're completely out? I'm out. Okay. Until, until you start eating some Stoveronis? Yeah, I might eat one on camera. So, the Stoveronis have been cooking for a minute. You can see if you really look down at them, you look around the ring, they've bulged up. They've got the grease underneath them really cooking away. The middle of them is still nice and moist and kind of like a medium rare on your burger. So it's about time to flip them. So in the shop, you know, we've got some shop tools. This I like to use for wiring. These are great for wiring. So 
we take this, grab on just because we don't have any real utensils, we flip it over. Now you can see that nice caramelization ring around there. Oh yeah, that'll be good. So we'll just keep flipping them over. Now you can see, as you look down in here, you'll see with the aluminum foil, we curled the edges up and that's to keep all of that fat runoff trapped, which will really help cook them. We'll let them go for a couple more minutes and uh, then we're gonna add the cheese. And shortly after that, we dine. So a few of these are definitely done. So we're gonna pick them off. We built a little shelf in the back to set them on. And the shelf is built with uh, fire bricks. So they retain the heat. So the fire bricks retaining the heat do a couple different things. One, they really help keep your food warm. Also, because they retain the heat, they trap it on the stove. So even when your fire burns low, it still kicks off a lot of heat. And the second nice part is the paper towel underneath helps absorb some of that fat because we don't need that. We're already working on it. Now we add our Colby Jack cheese. Give those a couple minutes to cool down so you don't burn your mouth. And they're great late night snack in the shop. What? Where did they go? We're already working on one. Captain Redbeard sitting over there playing on his phone. He already consumed one. He didn't wait for the rest of us, but now we dine. Selfish. Thanks for joining us. Maybe uh, again, you'll get to see another cooking adventure in the shop while we work on the cars. Um, we always try and do a little, everything a little bit different and have a little bit fun with it, but definitely try stove running next time you get a chance. And yes, you can make them at home on the stove. Don't forget, hit the little like button, definitely subscribe. Keep watching as we work on beautiful cars like this and you know race cars like that and have a little bit of fun. Uh, we even go out and we cut all our own wood at the woods. We'll bring you along. We're going to try and bring you for everything that we do and have some fun with it. So again, thank you very much. Definitely like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah.